If you're a long, young lawyer on a big file, I would encourage you not to look at the task that has been assigned to you as your sole role on the file. You should, in fact, take that task very, very seriously and take ownership of it and take pride in your work and do the very best job that you can on that task. But to the extent that you can take initiative and look for the issues that might arise down the line on the file and maybe review other people's work so that you can learn how all the components of the file are, are fitting together. If you can do that and get a sense of the broader, you know, file and, and the, 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 the nature of the task that's being performed more broadly, I think that'll enhance your development. Uh, and if you can take ownership, I mean, as, a, as, as someone who runs files, I like nothing more than a junior lawyer that's willing to take ownership of a piece of the file um, and take initiative to find other pieces of the file that they may be able to take ownership of. Very early on in law school, I ended up falling in love with uh, the field of M&A. And I knew, you know, for whatever reason, we started going through the poison pill cases in law school. And I thought, this is fascinating stuff, and I want to be doing this type of stuff. And so I was lucky enough, once I moved over to Faskin, to become involved very early on in some great M&A files, including the 2004 Lexbert Deal of the Year. Uh, Mark Rogers' acquisition of Microsoft, the Fido brand. Um, and, you know, things took off from there. Having that opportunity, and together with a number of other files that uh, ended up being great M&A files, I quickly developed a, a nice, you know, and burgeoning M&A practice. My key success factor, I guess it's, hmm, that, that's a tough one. You know, you have to be willing to work hard, and I think ultimately you have to find ways to bring value-added service to your clients. Um, and that means thinking outside the box often and being creative and offering solutions that may not necessarily be obvious. Delivering cost-effective client service um, is something that, you know, we worry about a great deal, and a large part of that is uh, effectively training junior lawyers. Uh, I'm lucky in the sense that the sort of transactions that I'm involved in, large public M&A transactions, these tend to be a little less cost sensitive. Saying that, we're always looking for ways in, uh, to deliver value to clients, and that means, uh, among other things, assigning the task properly and, and ensuring that lawyers at appropriate level of experience uh, charging appropriate rates are working on the file. I think in terms of finding a fit for you, it's really important that you connect with the people you're working with. I've been very lucky at Baskin uh, to be working with a number of people who I really enjoy working with. Uh, we all get along. Um, it's fair to say that while we don't necessarily interact socially on a regular basis, any one of the people that I work with is someone that I'd be comfortable going out to dinner with, having a drink with, having a lunch with. I think, you know, if you can work in that type of an environment with people that you really enjoy spending time with, then you've got fit. I try very hard to be a mentor to others in the firm, and that includes in terms of uh, giving them very specific guidance on the files that they work with with me, but also encouraging them to come and speak to me even about matters that aren't related to files that we might be working on together. Uh, and that would include professional matters, personal matters, matters going to life work balance, things like that. Uh, we do a good job in general, I think, at Baskin of ensuring that our younger associates and even our you know, mid-level and senior associates uh, do have access to you know, people that are more senior to them that can provide them with a bit of guidance during some of the more uh, difficult or troublesome uh, periods of their career.